before headbanging. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm too old for this. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Just push this over there. <laughs> Bass, Tal Halbi. I play guitar, uh, keys, backing vocals, and occasional tambourine. I'm a man, dark, and I play guitar. I'm a Istvan Sabahi, and I play the drums. There's a guy. We have a vocalist somewhere here. Should have yeah, a vocalist. Yeah, vocalist. Yeah. His name is Osama Sadiq, and he has the best clarinet playing technique I've ever seen from anyone. He's a clarinet. And occasionally he sings the clarinet. You have to compress it at like a, a bunch. Yeah. To keep uh, like consistency and stuff. I think. I, mean, I think it's cool. Yeah, I mean, like a bit of like modulation, like maybe like a hint of like flanger or chorus mm. or something like that. But yeah, something wobbly. Yeah. Yeah, I think the solo's there. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! And just in case I'm going to. You want to! You want it! Have this I don't think you trust in my self <laughs> we started the the seeds of this album kind of started two and a half, three years ago. I mean, we were still in the process of releasing our second album, The Desert Group. We attracted and it was being mixed and honestly I was just kind of bored and I you know, just wanted to keep writing stuff. So I was just sitting in my apartment one day in New York and I started writing a few things on my acoustic guitar which sounded kind of nice. I sent it to Omer and the guys. And yeah, at the time we thought it was going to be just like a EP, you know, it's like a four song EP or something, uh, kind of unplugged-ish, uh, kind of stripped down, but as usual with us, things just kind of, you know, accelerated and, uh, you know, we started adding things and, you know, uh, layers and different parts and stuff like that, so eventually it became, the idea came that we would move to our full third album. Um, so, yeah, we had, you know, Got a piece together, nine songs, uh, which, which we've been tracking now for the past kind of six months or so. Uh, starting with the bass and drums, now we're just kind of wrapping up guitars and then else part of vocals after that. So yeah, that's where we are. Da, 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 da. I think you were initially like originally doing it down the part. I've been playing it with downstrokes. I have been playing it in downstrokes in this recording? Not in this recording, but I think probably mm. last time we recorded this. Ah, uh, okay. Probably. But I think this sounds better. No, it, it's, it does sound better with downstrokes. Yeah. Yeah. Both albums have been conceptual in nature, just kind of inspired by some of the frog stuff, like the Floyd and Mortifying Tree and whatnot. But the idea being that songs should just not be random on the record, they should have a place and some you know, reason to be there, some piece of the puzzle, so to speak. And this album is kind of a progression from the last one. It's a bit different. I think for me personally, I never expected the kind of sound that we have on this album. The first two were, you know, we're kind of going for a certain sound and with Blues as producer on the second album, we kind of... We got, this, we got that sound. Really so, the natural thing to do was to not repeat ourselves yeah. and veered into this thing, which is this album. I don't know if I have a word for it, but it has its own sound, which is the five of us together. Everyone having a part in making the music, writing parts or changing parts around. And that's kind of evolved over time. Because it's a collective sound. But I mean, also this time we are most likely fully mixing and mastering ourselves, at least that's the plan right now. So we've been doing the whole production with that in mind and we 
I've learned a lot more about the whole process. So yeah, there is some sound in mind, but it's not really referenced from anywhere else other than just how the songs are yeah. developed.